Hey guys, what's going on? <coughs> it's your boy, the Mad Kaiga. And as you can see, I'm back in the usual place. And uh, <coughs> up here today, guys, I wanted to, well, I guess sort of, this is kind of like a introduction slash uh, update to what's coming. Um, and of course, it's a new year, which you guys know what that means. Every year, normally at the beginning of the year, I normally do collection videos. That's right. And uh, I'm pretty excited to do another collection video now. Just be aware that some collections may not get collection videos this year at this first part of the year, like the PlayStation 4 collection, because I did one of them about a couple months ago. So I'm mainly going to focus on collections like the PlayStation 2, the Xbox 360, maybe a few of my uh, smaller collections and things like that. Now, what I wanted to talk about is at the beginning of each collection video, I'm going to do a video like this, in which I talk about not only the collection itself and what it means to me and why I collect it, but I'm also going to give you a little few uh, tips and tricks about them. Now, um, of course, um, just wanted to let you know that these videos will more than likely be in parts, seeing how I can only really get half an hour recording per videos. Um, <clears throat> so I will try and do them. It, 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 in parts as um, possible. Um, again, how often these videos will come out, maybe one or two a week. Um, again, we will try and figure out the time to do them. Again, it takes a lot of time for me to get all of my uh, games out. The PlayStation 2, for example, and I'm going to talk about um, the PlayStation 2 collection in a minute. Um, of course, that's going to be my first collection to go through. Um, you know, the reason I do these collection videos once a year is because uh, at the beginning of the year, it really gives me a time to sort of refresh my memory as well as uh, new subscribers, um, because a lot of people who are new subscribers to the channel probably don't go back and watch some of my older videos. And if you do, then that's great. I thank you very much. But if you don't, this is the best opportunity for you guys to see the most up to date version of the collection that I have. Of course, my collection a little bit all over the place at the moment. Need to work out and uh, fix things a little bit. Um, but um, again, these also give me a good chance to refresh my memory. Maybe go through my collection and go, okay, maybe I had some games that I didn't realise that I had. Maybe move some games around, move them so they're more accessible to me. So, you know, write a few games down that I'm, I'm probably going to try and play more and so forth. Um, but it, it also gives me a chance to, you know, like I said, give you guys the most up-to-date version. Now, I'm going to be honest, 2020 was a bit of a shitty year for game pickups. I didn't do many pickups because of everything that's happened. And unfortunately, at the moment, we are still in the same boat. So hopefully within the next couple of months, things should hopefully look, get a little bit better. But I ain't, I ain't um, touch wood again. Um, I, I am putting my uh, money on anything at the moment, <laughs> so um, the occasional game pickups will just be a few little odd games here and there from Amazon or possibly even digital games every so often at the moment, unfortunately. So I apologise for those people who were hoping for a decent pickups video at some point this month. I don't think it's going to happen. So, um, how these sort of overviews are going to work, basically, I want to try and do these at the beginning of each pickups video. It's almost like a part one or an introduction, just to try and give these videos a little bit more um, depth to them. So, the first collection I'm going to go through is the PlayStation 2 collection. Now, how these sort of overviews are going to work, I'm going to do three, um, I'm going to do a couple of things. Um, first of all, the PlayStation 2 collection, what it means to me. Um, I grew up with the PlayStation 2. It's one of my all-time favourite consoles, if not my favourite console. Um, growing up as a kid, I absolutely adored the PlayStation 2. had so many great memories of it. Um, the console itself, again, is still a great console. Um, the best part is modern-day TVs do support <coughs> HDMI out for PlayStation 2s. Just get yourself a pound cable or there are other modifications available to you. Try and find what, what suits you the most. Again, the best way to play a PlayStation 2 is on an old CRTV because you can get light gun support and things like that. But 
again most people don't have those sort of things available to them so if you are uh, like me and you've got a nice uh, 50 inch uh, 4k tv um, set up with your other console get yourself a hdmi out cable or something for your playstation 2 and chances are it will probably run pretty well um, when I play my games on my 50 inch TV on PS2, they don't look terrible. There are some games that uh, issue, struggle a little bit, but most of the time they look pretty good. Now, um, again, I've been collecting the PlayStation 2 for about six or seven years now. Quite a long time. In fact, I was uh, collecting the PS2 um, when I first started doing my YouTube video, even before then. It's crazy how many games I've collected for it. Now I have roughly 900 plus games, but closer to a thousand. These, do, these videos will give me a good opportunity to write down how many games I actually have for the system as well. Um, I'm sure I can probably look on my, my app and it will probably tell me, but there might be a few that I actually don't have written down, so I'm not too sure. Again, the PlayStation 2, um, I, I, I've got these two rating systems that I wanted to. So one star means... So I've got two rating systems that I want to do. The first is how to get a completionist um, collection. One star being it's easy to get a completionist collection. Two being you need a little bit of work to it. And three being it's almost impossible. Not impossible, but in the very high levels of um, being able to complete it. But also um, another one I want to do is an actual collector's one so how easy um these games are accessible um so a one star being these games are very easy to collect for and when i say these things i include things like how how accessible they are where you can find them what shops have them you know um and price range and things like that one being very easy to collect for you can find them pretty much anywhere most places are selling them and they're a decent price Two being, it's a little bit tougher to find some of these games, but you can if you look around. And three being very hard and, of course, more expensive. Consoles like the Neo Geo, for example, would be a three-star rating because it's virtually impossible to find them here in the UK. But um, the PlayStation 2, um, I'm going to give a one-star for collecting. Um, these games are very, very easy to collect for. You will be able to find PlayStation 2 games in charity shop. Any second-hand games slash electronic shop will have PlayStation 2 games. Things like Pawn Shop will always have PS2 games. Amazon, eBay, online retailers. Most places sell PS2 games for a reasonable price as well. Now, there are some games out there that are a little bit harder to find and a little bit... Um, more expensive games like Rule of Rose, for example, is a very expensive PS2 game. You're looking in the 200 to 500 pound range, unfortunately. Um, now, even though PlayStation 2 is a one star, in my opinion, for collecting, for a completionist, it is a three star. I don't know anyone in the PAL territories that have a PlayStation 2 complete collection. Now, there are nearly 4,000 PlayStation 2 games worldwide. The PlayStation 2 went on from 2000 all the way up until 2012, even 2013 as well with some games. I think FIFA 14 was one of the last PlayStation 2 games, and that's crazy because that game was also on Xbox One and PS4. It just goes to show that the PlayStation 2 didn't refuse to die out pretty fast. You know what I mean? Um, now, it's kind of funny because... If you live in the US, I've seen people with um, full US collections because there was only about 800 to 900 games released in the US. Now, when I say a completionist guide, I mean that includes all territories. So PAL, NTSC Japan and NTSC US. So for me personally, I mainly collect PAL games. Um, I haven't delved in to try and find any US games or any Japanese games for my PS2 yet. Mainly because I'm not going to be paying import prices for some of these games. Um, occasionally you might see some in some game shops online. Possibly even um, at car boot sales and things like that. But chances are if you want to get those imports you will need to go online. And unfortunately some of them do cost an arm and a leg unfortunately. And the worst part is, even if I had those games, I wouldn't be able to play them because my PS2 is 
not modded and is region locked so just be aware if you have got a ps2 um, you won't be able to play other region games unless you have a modded ps2 or some sort of um, software that helps you do that now i know there is some software that can help you with that but i'm not entirely sure now um i i am going for a completionist um again trying to get everything what how i would mean that is if, if I brought every single PAL game that, that was available, then I would only buy the exclusives that were in Japan and the exclusives that were in America, for example. I wouldn't want to buy, you know, three copies of, say, Dynasty Warriors 5, get the English version, the American version, and the Japanese version, because there would be no point in doing that. Unless it's a game that I would like having the different cover variants, um or if there's any exclusiveness to that version of the game, then there's no point for me buying multiple versions of the same game, essentially, especially ones that I wouldn't be able to play. But I, I, I do collect everything for the PlayStation 2. If I don't have a PlayStation 2 game, chances are if I see it, I'll pick it up. Um, and that includes everything from sports games to racing games to action games, um, to shovelware games, children's games, educational games, obscure games. You will see when I go through my PS2 collection just how many weird and wonderful games there are. You know, the PlayStation 2 was very, very big in Europe. Um, and there were a lot of European companies, smaller companies, putting out shovelware games and games that just tried to come out for a big, uh, a quick buck, as you one might say. And you'll definitely see them uh, as I go through them. Now, um, I, I do play the PS2 quite often. This is an A-star rating for um, me as a collector. I collect everything for it, like I said. Um, and in terms of playing it, it's definitely an A-star rating. I do play a lot of PS2 every so often. You know, I don't play it every single day and every single night. Um, but I do tend to play it quite a bit. <coughs> now... Um, again, for those who um, are looking into possibly getting a PS2 collection in 2021, it's still a good time. There's never a bad time to collect for PS2. But just be aware that um, because a lot of places are still closed at the moment, it may be a little bit more annoying to buy some of these games. But luckily, um, places like CEX um, and eBay and stuff, still um, operate online in fact you could probably pick up a playstation 2 with a job lot of games on ebay for a decent price but don't pay more than 30 pounds for a playstation 2 console alone um, i'd say the most that i would ever spend on a ps2 if it was complete in box with everything and a few games and possibly two controllers memory cards a complete setup would be 50 pounds i would never pay more than 50 pounds if someone charging 50 pounds for a ps2 um, without anything extra, you're paying too much, um, you know, and, and I'm not saying that the PS2 isn't worth the price, it is because there's so many great games and so many wonderful things you can do with it, but because it's an older console, don't pay a lot of money for it. PS2, I do class the PS2 as retro, but it's not retro like, say, a Super Nintendo or, or an N64 or a PlayStation 1 or, or Sega Mega Drive or an Atari or something. You know, um, I, I, I say the PS2 is, is semi-retro, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, you know the PlayStation 5s are out and that now, so you could say that it is retro because there's three generations of consoles before it. Um, but I, I, I just think that the PS2 is still in a state of, of um, the games, most of the PS2 games still look pretty good and run pretty well. Um, even though it's the weakest system at the GameCube, PS2 and Xbox, the PS2 lived on for a long time. You know, there, there's no, there's no um, sheer amount of any, well, anyone who sits there and, and, and badmouths the PS2 can't really talk too much because it went on for a long time and... Uh, very um you know sony supported the ps2 extremely well in fact there's a, a playstation 2 um ps5 model coming out i believe um or a custom um case for it which looks awesome so if i'd ever did delve into a ps5 i'd love to have one of those ps2 cases for my ps5 um but again as you see when we go through the ps2 game we will be doing it in the 
camera facing the box um, rather than this because it's easier. Um, I will try to talk a little bit about the games, but I don't want to spend hours and hours talking about a game because I want to try and go through these collections without um, editing too much videos and, and, and uh, wasting more space. Um, I know I should really invest in a video camera at some point, um, and that is something that I've definitely thought about. And I know I could record with my um, my laptop, I guess, but I'd prefer to do it like this, um, with the camera in my hand kind of thing. Um, again, we will be going through all of the PS2 games that I have. I think all of my PS2 games are in this room, so hopefully we shouldn't miss any out. Um, these videos... I'm taking, I'm guessing there'll be about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There'll be about a lot of parts for this video. There'll be more than um, 13 parts for this video, which is, is a lot. But at the same time, I, I like the fact that I'm starting big this year. I'm starting with a classic um, again. I, I apologise if you're like, oh God, not another one of these PS2 collection videos. But um, I always like to improve a little bit on the previous one. But just be aware that there won't be another PS2 video um, collection video till next year. Um, but again, it will be interesting this year to see if we get any new PS2 games and things like that. But of course, um, I hope you guys uh, appreciate what I'm doing here um, and why I want to talk about the consoles beforehand. Um, chances are I'll do this for every um, collection that I do, um, I'll talk about. Um, there might be a few collections that I just throw in a bunch of little things like my retro games like the Dreamcast, Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo and things like that all in one collection because they're only small collections on their own. Um, there are some collections that won't be included um, this year but there will be some that are. Um, the, I will try and do my DVD collection as well at some point this year. Um, you know, so technically we should have a PlayStation 2 collection, um, a Nintendo, possibly a Nintendo Switch collection, but it's quite small, um, a retro collection, a PlayStation 1 collection, an Xbox 360 collection, maybe a PC game collection, maybe a, um, uh, a, a uh, Wii collection, and Wii U slash Wii U collection, maybe a handheld collection, and possibly a DVD slash Blu-ray collection. So there will be a lot of videos coming your way. Um, I feel like it's a good thing for me to focus on doing collection videos first before we go into doing other videos. But I will maybe throw in a few other videos here and there as we go on. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, introduction to what we're going to be doing. I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming videos. Um, I will try and maybe do the first part of the PS2 collection um, by the end of the week, maybe Saturday or Sunday, depending on what's happening. Um, but just be aware that a lot of these games are, are in a sort of genre collection. So you might notice in one video it might be all sports games and another video it might be all racing games. That's just because that's how my collection is set up at the moment. Um, but there are some that are a few odd things in, but like I said, it's a good opportunity for me to sort out my collections a little bit and try and uh, maybe uh, set them back up as a in a different way. Maybe I'll try and go alphabetical, I don't know yet. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Let me know in the comments below, are you looking forward to the collection videos? If you're a new subscriber, this is definitely one for you to look out for. You feel free to watch my old collection videos and possibly compare them to the upcoming ones and see what sort of things have changed. Um, there shouldn't be any games out of the PS2 collection that aren't in this year's collection because I haven't traded in or sold any PS2 games, I never do. Uh, unless I have a double or something and I give one away or whatever. But as always guys, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. It's nice to be back in the usual place with the collection. But just be aware, I just want to give a disclaimer. This may um, change at any point because of what's going on with personal life at the moment with my family and things and my mum. I could easily be back down there by the end of the month. Anything can happen, unfortunately. That's what happens. I won't go into too many details, but if I am going back down there, I will let you know in advance. So keep your eyes out on things like Twitter and Instagram. 
follow me on there to keep updated. Follow me on Twitch. I have been done a couple of streams since I'm back. They're not perfect because there was a few problems that I had with them. But until then, as always, guys, have a nice day and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.